Hey everyone, it's Sarah, and I have a process video using the Valley High Kit from Studio Calico. This is my third layout using this kit. And uh, this page is going to be about my daughters at two different fairs this year. We started out the year living in Tucson and um, went to the fair there in April before we moved. And then we moved in um, early July, we moved to New Mexico. Um, we live in Clovis, New Mexico now. And um, when we got here, we realized that there was gonna be a fair here in August. So they got to go to two county fairs in one year. And um, my older daughter, Kaylin, she thought that was pretty cool. And uh, I'm gonna use a direct quote from her as my title. So what I'm doing here is I'm using this craft cardstock to um, be pretty much the the background, um, the back layer. So I'm cutting out the middle of it because you're not going to see the middle of it, and I want I don't want to waste the um, the craft because I use craft a lot in all of my scrapbooking. So I'm just cutting out the middle so I can use that on some other projects as well. And I'm just going to layer uh, this background paper, which is from Studio Calico, um, from the kit, and um, I'm going to mat my pictures on this. Um, very bright yellow um, which is from basic gray this paper and I really like the brightness of it and it goes well um, it goes well with that background paper as well it brings out some of the yellow triangles in the background paper there so I'm gonna put this over to uh, the left hand side a little bit so that I can make sure I use that hello there frame and um, that is a McGill, I believe, yeah, McGill um, label tab punch. And I'm going to, um, I use some cardstock from the kit there, and I'm just going to write down um, where those pictures were taken and put them behind the pictures. And I love that I got pictures um, of them on carousel for both fairs, and they're sitting, you know, they're, Kaylin's on the left and Layla's on the right. So I thought that was pretty cool. So I'm going to um, put this frame on top of that white cardstock there. And this frame is from Basic Gray, and it came in a package um, in the Studio Calico kit. And I am going to use that for my journaling. Now I'm going to um, write the cities for each um, picture there, and I'm just going to put those behind the pictures just to kind of label, you know, the top one was in Tucson and the bottom one was in Clovis. And I'm going to do kind of a subtitle here, and it's going to say two fairs in one year with a question mark. Um, my daughter didn't say that necessarily, but um, she, she said, you know, we are so lucky that we get to go to two fairs, and um, so I just thought that would be a good little subtitle there. And I'm putting that on the brown cardstock so that the letters can pop off in that white. If I had just put it on the background or even on the yellow, it wouldn't stand out quite as much. And I'm going to use uh, these cork thickers that came in the kit. Those are called Dazzle. Um, and I'm going to spell out, we are so lucky. That's exactly what my daughter had said. And I love those thickers. And I'm using wax paper to put them on. And the reason I'm doing that is because I want to make sure that it's going to fit, number one, across my page. Um, without going ahead and sticking it down. When you have it on the wax paper, it sticks enough so that it stays in place, but uh, you're not sticking it down to the paper, where if I stuck it down to the paper but I didn't like the position or I wanted to move it over a little bit, um, it would probably rip up the paper when I tried to rip them up. So um, just take a piece. It's literally just um, a roll of wax paper that you get, you know, in the, you know, where the tin foil is in the store, and um, just ripped off a piece and put them down there and they stick 
to the point where they stay there so I can line things up and move them around on the page where I want them. Um, but they're very easy to come off the wax paper as well and then I can just stick it on my layout. So I'm doing my journaling here in this little block and um, you know basically just talking about how we went to one fair in Tucson and one fair in Clovis. And what am I doing here? Oh, I'm putting the year 2014. So I'm just going to line up exactly where I want that to go and it goes perfectly right there along the bottom. So there's no guesswork or having to move anything later. I got that trick from, um, I've seen a few people on YouTube do it, but the first person I saw do it was Mercy Tierra here on YouTube and I just thought that was genius. And I'm pulling a few things from my stash here. Um, I have some printables and some stickers. Those are some tickets which I don't end up using. Or do I? Yes, I do. Just kidding. Yep, I use that one. <laughs> Um, I'm not positive on where what that ticket is from, like what company made that, honestly, because I didn't have the brand new package anymore. Um, but this little star uh, printable came from a sheet that I got from Studio Calico, so I'm just cutting that out to help highlight the yellow. And I'm thinking, what else am I going to do here? A little um, geotag circle that says you are here and I put that in between the pictures there since I wrote down the cities. And I'm going to use the star confetti that came in the kit and uh, just kind of sprinkle a few stars here and there and the colors are perfect orange and pink and yellow which is exactly what's in um, the background paper there. And um, that, that geotag sticker is from Studio Calico as well, from a sticker sheet. And I'm going to take my thick black Sharpie and I'm going to outline all of these stars because when I put them down, they kind of blended in a little bit too much. They didn't stand out the way that I wanted them to. So I'm going to sit here and um, outline all of them in black. And I am, um, so I finished Vikings. I know I talked about how, um, you know, which shows I watch, but I finished Vikings, so I'm all caught up on that. And um, my sister just got me to start watching The Leftovers, which is on HBO. And so I believe that's what I'm watching here as I'm doing this. But uh, it's really good, and it's only in the first season still, so it's... Um, ongoing right now the first season is on right now and um, it's kind of it's um, very interesting you know there's a lot of theories behind the plot and you know um, different things start happening and you get a little bit confused but then you kind of start figuring things out it's really really good basically um, I think one quarter of the population maybe just up and disappeared one day and nobody like literally in a split second nobody knows what happened so everyone's kind of you kind of see the aftermath of it and you know how different places are dealing with it and things like that and Justin Thoreau is in it and it's really really good so if anyone needs a new show and you haven't checked that one out yet it is it's a very good show I caught up pretty quickly so <laughs> In fact, I think I'm texting my sister right now about it. I'm pretty sure we're talking about it. <laughs> so I got all the stars outlined there, and I'm just going to go ahead and um, use my ATG gun to get them all stuck down. And some of them had... Um, they were two stuck together and I didn't realize it even while I was outlining them so I had to throw a couple back to the side there. They're just paper, little paper stars.
and they stand out much better after um, using the Sharpie along the edges of them. So I like the way that turned out. And I'm going to use some enamel dots. I don't remember what color I bring out here. The pink. I used two, two different tons of pink, yeah. So I use one um, darker pink and two lighter pinks. And what else do I do? Oh, I forgot to put that in there. <laughs> That's a little important. Stick those down. And I think the only other thing that I do, and I do this off camera because I, um, I do it after I turn the camera off already, but I add a flare badge uh, that says Epic on there. And that's from um, Hello Forever by Marcy Penner. And I, I just had that in my stash. I remembered I wanted to uh, put a flare badge. And I put it um, right up in the left-hand corner of that Polaroid where my journaling is. You'll see those in the close-ups. And that is going to be my layout. I have some close-ups coming here for you. Oh, I'm sorry, it says Neato. <laughs> I have another one that says Epic, but I use the Neato one. <laughs> All right, thank you guys for joining me and I'll see you again real soon. Bye.